you actually doing the intro? Oh, I can do the this intro. This isn't me. This way? No, 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 I said poking you. Uh, chicken nuggets. Nah, my turn. Switch. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to dark slide because I feel like most people think this trick is just impossible, but in reality, it's, it's not too hard. Well, it is hard, it's just not as hard as it looks. And that's because you don't actually slide on the grip tape. Yeah. You would think it would not that close. Whoa, 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 whoa. Most people think you're sliding on the grip tape. Grip tape is grippy, it's in the name, right? So you wouldn't slide. But really, you slide on the edges of the board. So it, it slides really easy. It still breaks your grip tape though, because when you get to the end of the ledge and you come off, it like scratches your head. So do this same thing. That's why I'm doing it today because it's the last day I'm using this board, so time to do dark slides. Yeah, the cat. The cat at. That was cool. Yeah, it might not survive this video. Isn't it kind of ironic that it's a cat at which the dark side use and it's gonna get killed by a dark slide? Did you get ID for that? I did, yeah. Apparently, I'm. I don't even look 16. Anyway, I should probably teach people how to do this trick. Yeah, I can, do, I, I can do a trick. The dark slide, it's three parts. So you gotta learn how to get into it, you gotta learn how to slide, and you gotta learn how to get out. Right, so when you get into it, there's three different ways your feet can land. You've gotta find out which one you like best. This is the one I like and naturally land in. There's this one. And there's this one, yeah. And they, they're all kind of the same because they look different and you, you get out of it a little bit different. But I'll show you that when you get there. So you're going to slowly come up to the ledge, do half a kickflip and see which way you naturally land in it. Whoa, this is slippy. I wax this a lot. Yeah, so mine, so That's my my feet naturally landed like that. See how much it slid and I wasn't even trying. Yeah. So once you've worked out what way your feet land, naturally, this is the second part, you need to learn how to slide in. Put your board on the ledge, and then just, just practice working and jumping on it. Like that. Oh, that was perfection. Coming up. Halfway. See how easy it slides. You, for people who land naturally like this, you can still practice. I can't, I suck it that way. Two steps down, but there are three. How to get out. How to get out. Now, you could kind of cheat and just learn how to get out by running and jumping on it. Or you could just full on, go for it, flip in, do the slide and learn how to get out. There's two different ways to get out. If, if you're sliding with your feet like this, the way that I do it, the only way to get out really is by when you get to the end, pushing off the end, doing like half a kill flip out, which is kind of awkward. Sliding like this, or like this, and your foot's on the tail, the way to get out is you want to, you want to push down here, and you'll do like half a shove, and you want to turn, you want to do a body burial, front of body burial, you come out like that. Small things that can go wrong, right? The main one, which I do a lot, is when you get into the dark side, you will, your whole board will come up on top here and you'll start to turn, which happens all the time for me. And the way to fix it is the angle that you come up to the ledge, right? So if you come up and do diagonally like this, yeah, all your momentum and weight is going to be going this way to get on the ledge. So what you want to do is you want to come up parallel like this. Show. So when you're coming up this way, yeah, all your momentum is going to be going this way. And you want to aim to get, you want to aim so the, the end of the ledge is in the middle, halfway. That's, that's the best way to do it. And then you'll always be going forward. The bit about this trick is getting in and out of it, the middle bits. The middle bit's alright. Yeah, I will show you 
I used to do dark sides a lot, so in my old video parts, I've done some strange ones which I'm going to show you. But I don't have the original files, so either there's going to be random music in the background or just you did. If anyone can actually tell me the names of the videos which the dark sides are from, I'll be very, um, very impressed and happy because they're quite old videos. Yeah, let's see if anyone, anyone watching this has actually seen any of my old video parts.